He is known for his incredible resilience and bravery during the Nazi occupation, where he and his mother survived using forged identity papers. He lived in different cities in Poland during World War II, eventually reuniting with his father in Krakow. Born Ludwig Begleiter, he later changed his name to Louis Begley and went on to study English literature at Harvard College. In the realm of literature, there is a figure whose life story is as remarkable as the characters he created. Meet Louis Begley, a legendary writer whose journey from war-torn Europe to the bustling streets of New York City is nothing short of extraordinary. Born as Ludwig Begleiter in Stry, then part of the Polish Republic and now in Ukraine, Begley's early years were marked by the horrors of Nazi occupation. He and his mother, using forged identity papers, managed to survive, hiding their Jewish heritage by posing as Polish Catholics. From Uwo to Warsaw, Begley and his mother navigated the chaos of World War II, surviving until the war's end. It was in Krakow that they were finally reunited with Begley's father. In the aftermath of the war, the family made the difficult decision to leave Poland, seeking a better life in Paris. In 1947, they embarked on a journey to the United States, arriving in the bustling city of New York. It was here that the Begleiters decided to change their name to Begley, embracing their new life in America. Louis Begley, eager to pursue his passion for literature, studied English literature at Harvard College, immersing himself in the world of words. During his time at Harvard, he even had the opportunity to work at The Advocate, a prestigious undergraduate literary magazine. But his studies were put on hold as he served in the United States Army, stationed for 18 months in Göppingen, Germany, with the 9th Division. Louis Begley, originally Ludwig Begleiter, was born in Stry, part of the Polish Republic at the time and now in Ukraine. Being the only child of a physician, Begley and his mother had to use forged identity papers to survive the Nazi occupation. These papers allowed them to pretend to be Polish Catholics, a crucial disguise in an era when many Polish Jews were being killed. Initially, Begley and his mother lived in Lwów and later in Warsaw until the end of the August 1944 Warsaw Uprising. As World War II came to a close, they found themselves in Krakow, where they were joyfully reunited with Begley's father. In the school year of 1945-46, Begley attended the Jan Sobieski School in Krakow, which marked his first formal experience of instruction since kindergarten during the Soviet occupation of Stry after the German invasion in 1939. In the fall of 1946, the family made the decision to leave Poland and settled in Paris. However, seeking better opportunities, they journeyed to New York City in late February 1947 and arrived on March 3. It was at this point that the family name was changed from Begleiter to Begley. After graduating from Erasmus Hall High School, Begley pursued his studies in English literature at Harvard College. During his time there, he also worked at The Advocate, an undergraduate literary magazine. Following his graduation, Begley served in the United States Army, with the final 18 months of his service being in Göppingen, Germany, alongside the 9th Division. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.